Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn about tax in robot framework and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and we will see how to set tax, how to remove tax, how to filter tests with tax and how to run tests based on tax. So let's get started and I will go to my Eclipse and here is the robot project that we have created in the earlier sessions and I have this test folder and a test suite that has some settings, test case, variables and keywords and if I go to the test suite editor you can see all this here so we have a settings section where we have added a library and some setup and dia down then we have some test cases and here I have a variable section and keyword section all this I have done in the earlier session and you have uh, seen these sessions so here now I can create some tags so for example I can create a tag in the settings section and if I say tag and press control spacebar you can see we have a default tags here and I can say some default tags for example I can give this tag uh, sanity to this entire test suite and if I run this test suite now I will just go here and say I will right click on the test suite and say run as robot test so this will start running the test and I have some selenium test cases here so this is running some selenium tests on the browser and then there is one more test that is going to execute and this is done so if I go to the report and here is the report link I will go here and open this in a browser and here you can see now we have got this statistics by tag and we have the sanity tag here so I can click here and you can see it has all the test cases because this is the default tag we have given to our test suite now let me also create some simple tests so I will just comment out these selenium tests because these will take a long time to run I will press control and forward slash on my keyboard and everything is commented out and I will create some simple tests so here I will just copy and paste the same test and I will say this is my second test and this is my third test and here I will say I am inside second test and here I will say I am inside third test okay so now you can see we have created default tag that is sanity inside the setting section now in the first test case I am going to create another tag I will say tag and press control spacebar and this is the tag here and I will name this as smoke so now I will run my test suite again I will do a right click run as robot test and this is done if I go to my report now you will see we have two tags here in the report we have sanity and smoke if I go to sanity you can see I have only my second test and my third test and if I go to smoke I have my first test here so here when you give a tag inside a test case it gets uh, the default tags is overridden by the test tag and this is how you can give it and you can also set and create dynamic tags so for example in my second test I will say set tag and if you press control space bar you will get this keyword set tags and I will say this is regression one and I will space I will save it and I will run this again a robot test and now if I go to my report you can see we have regression one tag here so now this was created dynamically at runtime and if I go inside this I have my second test inside this tag and I can also remove the tag so I can also say remove tag and here is the keyword and I will remove the same tag which is regression one and this set tag 
and remove tag happens at runtime so these are dynamic uh, setting and removing of the tags I will run my test suite again and let us see what happens this time I will go and check my report and here you can see the regression test tag is no longer there because it was removed dynamically so the use here is now you can tag your test cases and in the report you can filter out your test cases based on tags so for example in your test suite you might want to tag some tests as smoke test and some tag tests as sanitary test or whatever is the classification you want to use you can use that in a tag you can use any categorization or classification you can also give testers names or anything and then you can see the reports based on tags now you can also set or uh, remove tags or uh, run your tags from command line based on tags so I will just say how to set tags from command line so here step number one will be you will go to the command line and change directory to the location of your project folder so here I will go to my Eclipse first and I will do a right click on the project and go to properties to see the location and this is the location I can go to this location to open on the folder and this is the location I'll just copy it from here and then go to command line and then change the directory so this is in D so first I will say D colon and then CD and the location and I am into my projects folder and after that step number two is I have to run the command and the command is robot and minus T and I have to give the test name and then test suite location so I'll highlight this all these nodes will be available to you so this is robot minus t and the test name and then the suite name so here I will say robot minus t and let me say I want to run my first test and then the location of the test suite now you can see my test suite is here inside the test folder and the name is test suite one dot robot so I will say here test and this is I will need to use a backslash I believe and I will say yes test suite one dot robot and I will hit enter and you can see it has ran the test and it is showing pass my first test is pass and the second test is pass and you can also see the report link here so this is how you can run your test from robot framework uh, command line your robot framework test from command line now you can also set the tags from command line so let me just write down the command for that so step number three will be you have to add the flag to set tags and the flag is hyphen hyphen set tag and the tag name so here I will say I will use the same command and let me remove this and clear the screen first and this is the command and here I will say after the test case I can say minus minus set tag equals to regression 1 and run this and this is done if I go and check the report now I will see the report and you can see regression 1 is here so this is how you can set the text from command line now you can also use command line to run your test with the some specific tags so let me just show you if you say here if you want to run run tests with tags and you have to here use the flag hyphen hyphen include so you can 
use the flag hyphen hyphen include to include the tag name so for example here I will go and say on the command line I will say I will just remove all these things so I will just say okay let me create a new command here I will say robot and I will say hyphen hyphen include and I will say include the tag smoke and then the test suite file location so this is tests and test suite one dot robot and I will run this so you can see it has ran two tests and if you go and check the report so you can see there is only tag smoke here and this actually has a single test here so if I go back and yes actually there is a single test my first test that has the tag smoke I can also verify this so if you see the result if you see the test suite there was a default tag that was sanity however smoke tag was there only for my first tag my first test and therefore that is present in the report here and in case I want to include more tags I can say I will just say here robot and I can you also use minus i instead of minus minus include that's it that's a short form and I will say sanity and minus i smoke in the test suite location which is this one and run this and you can see as of now this has run my first my second and my third test because my first test had smoke tag so we have included smoke and all the other tests had sanity tag because that was a default tag so all the three are executed now you can also use some uh, regular expression or wildcard characters like I can say robot minus i and I will say s star so this means I want to include all the tags that start with the letter s and include all the tags like sanity or smoke that start with the letter s and I will say the test suite is this and hit enter and you can see it has run all the tests starting with the tag s and anything after this and then you can also exclude the tags so for example I can say robot let me also write it down here step number 5 will be run tests with excluding tags and here the flag is hyphen hyphen exclude or you can also use hyphen e so you can say robot minus e and I will say smoke and then the test suite and I will run this so you can see it has excluded my first test that had the smoke tag and it has executed the others you can use a combination of include and exclude so you can say something like robot minus i smoke and minus e sanity and run this so you can see it has ran only my first test that had smoke tag and all the others are excluded and of course you can use regular expression here as well so you can use regular expression in excluding as well so I can also say here minus e and then I will say s star and run this now you can see here you can we are getting an error that suit test suit contains no test without tag s star so actually there is there is are no tags present or no test present which does not have this because all the tests have the default tag which is sanity and my first test had the smoke which is again starting with s so just in case i create a tag in my second test so i will say tag and i will say this is example 
and save this and now I will run the same command again and this time you can see it has run my second test and of course in the report you can see the tags accordingly and you can filter your reports based on tags so this is how you can use tags in robot framework I hope this session is very useful for you thank you for watching